right, everybody, we are live. Welcome to MortalKombatOnline.com's live stream. And uh, here at Galloping yes. Ghost Arcade. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, look who joined us. Oh, here. Whoa, it's the big guy. We got uh, <laughs> ah. Scott Howell joining us. We've got Tabmock99, myself, Fatal Cade. We've also got uh, Dark Bishop and CC Shadow hanging out with us as well behind the computer. They so will we, be joining us on stream before sure. too long. Yes, and we are going to interview some of the actors from the games. We're going to have a lot of fun for you guys in store. Hey, who knows who else might show up? Anything's possible. Anything is possible. It is Shang Tsung's fight night. It's a nice laid-back event, but there's been a great turnout for this. There has. There really has been. Love it. Great turnout. So it. it's been going very, very well. Uh, we actually got to talk to Chris Alexander, sadly not on camera, but we had a good conversation with him. He's a super cool guy. He could be on a future stream as well. Yes, and we might have something um, in the works to set that up. That's anything could happen. You, Any know that, you know how it is at Mortal Kombat Online, we've always got a million uh, buns in the oven. A couple got tricks up our sleeves, you know. Oh, they're at the pun. We're not allowed to have puns on the show, Justin. Oh, that's true. Sorry. <laughs> strike, strike one. How many strikes does he get today? 99. Joey's, Joey's <laughs> behind the camera. Oh, strike two. Strikes. Okay. Let it be known that on strike three, I'm going to take him out back. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That was Dark Bishop, for those of you who are wondering who that scary Shao Kahn-like voice was. Yes. And uh, there's there's some tournaments that are going on here at the at the Ghost. Uh, they've got tournaments for all the Mortal Kombat games, which is super super exciting. They've got their Mortal Kombat One, Mortal Kombat Two, their dual Mortal Kombat Three and Ultimate Mortal Kombat Three cabinet, and of course Mortal Kombat Four. And so. of course, uh, I signed up to win the Mortal Kombat Two tournament. Well, so did I. Until you I you also signed up. Until I beat you. <laughs> no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> You will never win. You know what? We're gonna settle this. I'm gonna I'm gonna work as hard as I can to get up in the ladder. Okay. So I have to face you. Okay. And then we'll settle the beef. And then you know what? We'll even get somebody to record this. I'll, I'll record it. There you if go. That happens. I'll put it live on the. I'm stream sure the match there. will be available somewhere either way, whether you record it or not. Yeah. Right. Maybe on Facebook Live. I don't know if I'll be able to do the Twitch. We're gonna settle this feud one way yeah. or another. Yeah. We're gonna get to the bottom of it. But it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good. No, why don't we do this? Why don't you bring up the chat so that we can kind of look and see what kind of questions yeah. are going on? A matter of fact, do you let have a me way to do ahead. it here on this? Screen? I'll just do it on my phone so that we're not taking up all the bandwidth. Oh, uh, so smart let's thinking. just see here. Let's go to our. So considerate. You see, what's going on is Galloping Ghost Arcade is letting us use their bandwidth and their and their network, so to speak. They are. So really we want to use. We want to consume as few resources as possible, out of respect to our hosts. Absolutely. But uh, let's take a look at the chat and see what's going on. So we've got our stream chat up and ready. We're okay. just waiting for everybody to uh, start. Well, anything that people have been saying up till now, yeah. we don't have a way of seeing it. Oh, <laughs> so, let me take a look, actually. We might. Yeah, I hope so. I don't think... No, I don't think that's going to work. We'll take a look here. So forget what I said about the bandwidth. Let's consume it all. <laughs> Let's consume it all. <laughs> consume the bandwidth like your soul. All your bandwidth are belong to us. All your bandwidth are belong to us. So yeah, no, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got uh, a lot of fun things going on here. A lot of tournaments. A good turnout. Um, lots and, of fun. And check it out. Check it out. We figured out a way to give out prizes, didn't we? We did. Uh, Scott, can you hand me those? Let's. No, no, no. The, yeah. Look at all this stuff. You want to hold it up for everybody? What is this? This is a business card for, it looks like Smoky Dragon Lair. Smoky Dragon's Lair, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure that up there. Look at that. Look at those amulets. Sorry. This is well designed. You want to show the other side? There you go. So that's the place where you can get the Mortal Kombat 3D right printed amulets. Smoky Dragon's Lair. Yes. Check them out. So that will be given away. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this one is a, this is a good one. You want to tell who this one is? Well, this is actually Andrew Kudelka's uh, card, who had done the um, done the comic books for Mortal Kombat. He yeah, well, he those. was part of the team. He was part of all them. the way till MK Special Forces. He was doing stuff like the logo. Yeah. He and did the map of elements for Mortal Kombat Mythology. He's a huge part of the MK. And did he do Tao Fang? Oh, did he? I he did. He gave us some exclusive Tao Fang stuff. He could if be I remember. right. He could be right. Um, hey, there's. There's oh, one more. Oh, Galloping Ghost. The Galloping Ghost, oh, yes. Oh, we can't forget Galloping Ghost. Yeah, they're the hosts, so you know what? Right here. <laughs> we're going to give, we're going to have an opportunity to give away some of these business cards on stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do we know how we're going to do that? 
Well, I'm thinking we're going to ask a good trivia question. Oh, yeah. Once, definitely. Uh, maybe after every actor interview, you'll come up with a random trivia question, and we'll get ready to roll. So, C Busy Lowell asks, are y'all in a steam room? And, no, we're actually <laughs> in a stream room. Stream Looks like room. you forgot the R. Yes, we're in a stream room. Uh, let's see. Is there? Is that just bad lighting? Or is there like a fingerprinty fog on the camera lens? No. Oh, no, that's no, just that... my glow. It's just. I think it's just the lighting and the environment that we're in right now. Um, the lights are kind of directly it, above us. The, so. the environment that the lighting is in will create that effect. So it's called the fog effect. It's, it is what it is. Yep. What is this I saw about Ed Boon being there? Hi, everybody knows the cat's out of the bag. Well, I guess we might as well just... He's go. actually right there. Yeah. Is he? He's right there. Oh, well, he's right there. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, all right. It was supposed to be a secret, but now they all know. So, you know what? If, if there are no objections, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, post a picture of him right now. Yeah, we, we did get to get a nice uh, MK Online group shot with him and a couple of the other actors. It was cool. Um, but, yeah. yeah. You know, it was supposed to... Kind of be low key, right? Like we were asked, sort of. Yeah, we wanted to. Yeah, we wanted to keep it low key. We didn't want to say anything, and then people. Out of, was, out of respect to, to Galloping Ghost yeah. and to Ed and to everybody involved, we really didn't want to. But then say, there's this thing called Twitter. There's this thing called social media, yeah. and there are no people. secrets on the internet anymore. Like, what can yeah. we do? My hands are tied. Well, you know, I mean, we tried. <laughs> we we kept our end of the deal. Somebody broke the <laughs> broke that, but uh, who knows? I mean. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw this up on our Twitter right now. How about that? There you go. So, sorry guys, give me one moment to post that. Social media break. <laughs> Everyone's on their phones. Everyone's on their phones when they go to dinner, when they go to the movies. Well, that's sort of how we're keeping up with the chat. I mean, jeez. And now when they stream. This is what I deal with. Let's say hello to some of the Discord people. Discord over here, Twitter over here. We got Brock MK. He really wishes he was here right now. Well, we didn't we Brock try? MK was here? <laughs> didn't didn't we try to convince him to like, hey, this is a I good tried. thing. You might want to attend it. But there's you always next year, buddy. Brock, <laughs> man, where are you? We, yeah. we, you know what? And, and it's funny, Brock, because Scott even has a Mortal Kombat Online polo we made just for just you if you showed up. It's in my car, just yeah. in case. But That's you didn't true. show up, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to probably just give it to Justin. As there he is. There he is, right there. He says, "I hope Ed Boon pops in for just a half second to say toasty, toasty." <laughs> but uh, the fact of the matter is, it's Dan Forden who says toasty, not That's Ed. True. That's Dan's <laughs> job. So, so um, all right, why don't we bring? Why don't we bring Joey, CC Shadow, C. C. on the Shadow stream for a minute? Yeah. He's All like, right. you're putting him on the spot right, here. here. Why don't you, you can have my seat. Okay. Um, obviously, something hilarious just happened, and I yes. didn't see what it was. What, what, what happened, Joey? <gasps> what? Did you hear that, guys? Well, All right. Go check it out. All right. <laughs> I will be right back to get some lean in here. Jack. Lean in. It's all right. We'll, we'll make it work. We'll become very... We'll be really good friends when this is all done. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and here I am, the newbie, with the the, uh, the mother and father of MortalCombatOnline.com. Right, Mom? Dad? <laughs> <laughs> right? So, yeah. Uh, no, it's awesome. So it's good to see you, man. Uh, first time I actually got to meet you was yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, we went out bowling with John Vogel, and he schooled us all. Yeah. He's got mad bowling skills. Yeah, he's very good. He's ridiculously yeah. talented. Plays it off like, oh, I don't know, not are good, and smokes us all. Um, got to hang out with him, and we had a nice little get-together. Um, and then, of course, the website is turning 20 years older. Yeah, Christmas. December 25th, Christmas yeah. Day. It's coming up, and... Um, Lots of stuff in store for that. We'll keep you posted as news breaks. Um, of course, he's <laughs> looking at me like he wants to kill me right now. And I just said stuff. I didn't say what. We gotta put a little, little something for people. But no yeah. comment. Nothing. Okay. Business as usual. We'll just turn twenty years old. <laughs> um, you know. But uh, yeah, we got all sorts of cool stuff uh, coming on, and I think we got Philip on, who's willing to do an interview with us here in a little bit. Um, we've got, uh, I'm sure we can get Brian and John Turk for sure. Uh, John's always a good interview. And um, yeah, I mean, we're going to be playing that tournament. Are you guys signed up for any tournaments? Uh, what, what, so, no, the, the answer, but I'm really bad at Mortal Kombat, as is Joey. So. Yeah, we're not very good at yeah. that. 
we figured we'd start a site to talk about the game. You know the old saying, those who can't do teach, we teach others because we cannot do it ourselves. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, so Lone Wolf was also supposed to come out, Lone Wolf Productions, but... Oh, that's right. Didn't, he and... He trivia all the time, Yeah, right? he's the trivia champion. Yeah. He is cool. hardcore. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Lone Wolf, we wish you were here, man. I mean, there's always next year. We're gonna, I'm going to try to get with Doc to set something up really cool for that, potentially, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, there's, there's so much fun going on. We've got... John Turk, Phil Vaughn, Brian Glenn, John Parrish has just arrived. So we have Jax in the house. Uh, and yeah, slots. Yeah, people are coming in and they're going, they're coming. So you want to get here now and get in while you can. Because these actors, they come in for a little bit, they leave, and then some of them come back, or they, another actor comes in. You never know what's going to happen during a Shang Tsung's fight night, which is why I personally loved it. Combat Con, everybody's just kind of there, and it's all organized, and way super organized, and they're there, and they go. But the cool thing about Shang Tsung's fight night is it's so fluid. People are coming, they're going, and it's just a lot more interactive with the fans. So if you if you live around this area, get down here now before you miss it. It's going on until 9 four more hours and uh, lots of cool stuff going on um, taking a look here oh look Baraka MK the man the man the myth the legend Hi, right here <laughs> so yeah good stuff um, we're probably going to let the stream run a little bit while we run and get interviews let you guys kind of see what's going on we'll be tilting the camera so expect the movement uh, to happen there because we'll be tilting the camera to take a look at all the arcades that are going on right now in tournaments. So you guys can see just how good of a turnout this event was, how many people are here. Uh, it really is a nice, surprisingly good turnout for this, um, debating everything that kind of happened last minute. Doc has been really good with uh, helping us get set up. He's always been a really good host Thanks, thanks to us. them for all the support. Yeah, Doc is amazing putting this stuff together, and uh, it's, really, it's really just fun, and we're all having a good time, and it's super chill. And there's... Um, that tournament that I'm going to beat Tabmok 99 in, right? Oh, you'll be there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah you'll be there. You don't, you, you don't, is that sarcasm? <laughs> of course. <laughs> so he thinks I'm going to win. He doesn't think. Okay, so we got Team Fatal Cade and then Team I, I don't, I don't take favorites. Okay. <laughs> All right, he's on the fence. I like it. Okay, I'll take it. Better than nothing. But yeah, we're going to we're gonna have fun. So we're going to get some videos of tournaments. Um, and then, of course, we're going to break put some of this on YouTube as well uh, when it's all said and done. But uh, we're going to let things kind of up and run. We're going to be switching out because there's five of us here. So we're going to kind of be, I'll leave and then these guys will sit down and chat with you and then they'll leave and we'll kind of switch out as we go. It's going to be a really um, kind of live by the seat of our pants stream here. But and then my son will come on stream and just talk. Yeah. You know, about nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But the event's cool. I mean, we got people signing autographs. There's some really cool stuff here, too. Um, I think I could probably sneak one of those statues to show people. Just grab one real quick. You certainly can ask. Yeah. Go. Do it. We'll just do it. Do it. So we think they've got all sorts of cool stuff here to get, too, that you can buy. Um, so he's, go he's walking over there now. Let's see which one he gets. I'm not the host. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm going to take this opportunity to jump out for a moment. <laughs> Brock MK, you're a funny guy. Hey, look hey. at this. Hey, everyone, tagging in. So this is Scott Bishop, known as Dark Bishop, right? That's me. So, Scott, what are you doing on our website? I am the system administrator. I used to be the webmaster for the website. These days, I actually get upstaged by statues. <laughs> <laughs> so, not to interrupt you two gentlemen, but no. um, we have here a beautiful sculpt of John Turk as Sub-Zero in Ultimate MK3, and this is for sale. Um, how, how, much, um, how, much, um, how much are they going for? Well, these are super rare. They only You will only be able to purchase them here at Galloping Ghost. They are uh, very, very limited. They are $300. I'm buying one. I'm gonna get one. I don't know which one I want to get. Are you getting it today? I am. Wow. So this is 
Uh, John Turk is Sub Zero. I might actually get this one. I kind of like it. This is uh, nice. this is pretty cool. The detail is kind of nice on it. Yeah, it's very very well detailed. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. You guys can see that um, it's very well detailed. They have one of. Uh, Dan Pacina's Johnny Cage as well. It's super, super nice. Um, there's so many of them. They got literally the doggone whole roster on there now. They got Liam Montalongo's up there too. And they got two. Um, they got two of Carlos Pacina as Raiden. Yeah, you both get MK1 really, and MK2. You get the MK1 and two options, which are super cool. So yeah, these are these are very, very nice. And then there's this dragon logo that they stand on in the bottom. Just a um, uh, just a pipe in. Um, Baraka MK says that the uh, stream is pretty choppy. We're aware of it. Um, uh, there's a, there's a, there's not so much we can do about it. Um, uh, we are making a recording of the stream so that it can be um, uh, viewed later. So you'll be able to see it on YouTube if it's choppy right now. Just kind of work with us. We're on a Wi-Fi connection and we're kind of in the middle, like in the back area. So, um, but all this is going to be available for you guys to see on YouTube, so you'll be able to see it without missing a beat. But this is live while we're going, and uh, that's Sub Zero, got, not Superman. Sub. Well, I mean, they kind of got the same hairdo, right? <laughs> they kind of do have the same hairdo, you know. But yeah, good stuff. But yeah, there's uh, there's all sorts of these really cool statues that are that are up there. These are so cool. I like the Sub Zero one. I like the Johnny Cage one, but this one I haven't seen this one yet. So I was like, "Wow, the Sub Zero looks good." And then I look over there, and they got a Sindel one over there. And I'm like, "What?" So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see all of them because there's so many good ones here. But this is definitely uh, very well crafted, very well made, and you can purchase them three hundred dollars right here, Galvin Ghost, and you can get it signed. Cool. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you check these out. There's a whole table right over here. Full. So get them while you can. I'm going to put this guy back. That would probably be a good idea. I'm careful. He says as he falls over. <laughs> this guy. But yeah, a um, matter of fact, I'm going to see... Somebody. We're we're or gonna nobody. see if we, we'll, we'll see if we can grab somebody to be on the screen because you you really don't want to talk to us, do you? <laughs> I do. What, Justin? I want to talk to you guys. Do you really? Yeah. I'll call it right now. Yeah. Hey, why are you finding somebody? All right. So, how we doing, guys? How's the stream? Oh man, a lot of fun stuff going on here at Shang Tsung's Fight Night. What's your favorite thing that you've seen so far? Um, well, I haven't been here before until today, but I'm just amazed at how many games are here. This is the first time at Galloping Ghost, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's crowded. It's a, it's a um, I and was it all on how many games there are here? You know, here. I mean, I um, as I I was ex saying this to Howell earlier, but that I, I would be walking through and seeing games from my childhood. But then I'd see games that the copyright logo says, um, uh, date on them says they're from my childhood. But I've never even heard of them before. I'm, and I'm like, Ooh. So now you get a chance to find out about all these obscure games that you may have missed out on and experience them for the first time. Did you do that? Some of them, yes. Cool. And, and, there, um, and there are some interesting, I guess the best term for them is relics. Like, they, um, uh, for example, earlier, um, Justin and I were playing the uh, old Midway prototype of the Judge Dredd um, arcade game. Oh, dude, that was sick. And, you know, of course, um, hardcore Mortal Kombat trivia for you, Judge Dredd has, as a pet in the background, oh, yeah. a little miniature Goro. Yep, you just see a woman walking by. Hey, Goro, Goro walking by. Goro. Yeah, just out walking yeah, my cool. Goro. No walking my Goro. Very casually. Um, so last time I was here, I got a little postcard from the arcade. It says they have over 620 games. The new postcard that they have out front today says 640 games. So they've gotten at least 20 games. Well, they games. also add a new game yeah, every Monday, Every Monday, right? every Monday. Yeah. yeah, which, how do you keep that up? How is that sustainable? Well, you expand your... I mean... They opened up a whole new room here, which is the room we're in. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be filled with arcade games eventually, right? Eventually. Yeah, that's right. So they keep getting more and more arcade games. Was this someone else's retail spot here? Or did they build on? Makes you wonder. 
don't know. I don't know what this room was before or who owned it, but it I think is it was really. A, I think it was a storeroom because there's no storefront um, up there. So there is a Mortal Kombat 2 tournament that's supposed to come up soon. Um, I'm supposed to be a part of that. It hasn't started, and I think the fact that Ed Boon showed up sort of changed their schedule, their timing, and everything. But that'll be really cool to uh, be part of that and have a chance to win. The last time I entered a tournament, I lost. But the time before that, I also lost. So this will be a chance for me to redeem myself. Or he could lose again. That's probably what I'll Or we can just do a rematch and do MK3 and we'll be... I usually get pretty far, though. I'm, I'm not one of those guys who's disqualified first, at least not with Mortal Kombat 2. If I try Ultimate MK3... How were you disqualified? Were you taking performance-enhancing drugs? <laughs> no comment. Oh, no comment. No, no comment. Back no to that again. No comment here today. <laughs> remember, kids, you need to drug test at video game tournaments. <laughs> That is true. Also remember, winners don't use drugs. A lot of arcade games back in the 80s and 90s said that. Mortal Kombat 2 never said that. Yeah, I think that kind of went out of vogue by then. Yeah. One of those things. One of those things. So what about you? What's your favorite thing that you've seen here at the Galloping Ghost? Or even just part of the event, like Shang Tsung's Fight Night? Believe it or not, the mo um, uh, one of my favorite events was actually beating these guys at the grid. Dude, you are unstoppable. I, I've never seen so many. The rest of us had like 9, 10, 11, maybe 12. You were like 19, 20. You were just killing it, literally. You were just killing everybody else in the game. It's a talent. Do you practice much? Well, it's a first-person shooter. Well, a third-person shooter, but the concept's kind, of, the concept's kind of the same. Seems like similar to games like Fortnite, you know what I mean? It seems like it's a general precursor to it. Not exactly. Not exactly. Not Battle but, Royale type. But, but, um, but I mean, it's, um, it's... It's... I think it'd be a little bit of a stretch to say it's similar, but it's... Um, uh, but it's not dissimilar. Not too dissimilar. <laughs> Make of that what you will. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. It's, it seems to me like with, with the resurgence in, in, with an interest in games like Fortnite becoming so intensely popular, I've heard about parents sending their kids away to be trained on how to get better at Fortnite. Like, Speak it's just ridiculous. I should actually point out one of the, um, another of the interesting things I saw here was the uh, art book where they, um, they had uh, the K's... Uh, Fortnite, um, uh, um, uh, the Fortnite, Mortal Kombat skin. Yeah, the yes. Mortal Kombat skin. His concepts for the Mortal Kombat skins in Fight Night. Yes, that's right. God, I would love to just go over and get that book right now and show off some of those pictures. But I think everybody in the stream has kind of seen them. I think they probably know what talking about. Yeah, but it is cool. It is a cool point of connection. Um, but you know, the interest in, in Fortnite being as high as it is makes me feel like. The grid has a chance of coming back. I don't think so. We've, um, we've. Um, can, can you say that in the raging voice? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my rating's not that good. Um, the one, um, the one Sorry. thing, um, uh, the one comment I had about um, MK and Fortnite in that regard was that uh, a little bit of idle speculation in that if uh, MK11, whenever that comes out. Uh, um, uh, goes to the next version of Unreal Engine. There, um, with Fortnite being on the Switch, there's a, there is a chance we could see Fort um, MK11 on the Switch. You know, I hope so because I got a Nintendo Switch for my son. I mean, I'm not a hardcore gamer anymore, but I really want to. You liar! Switch. You liar! You 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 play that Switch more than he does. That's right. Well, I don't know. That's debatable. Yeah. Yeah. That's debatable. Uh, yeah, he's only Fortnite. And hey, you, see, that's not a hard no. That, that means you're still a hardcore gamer. If it's even close, you're still into the gaming, man. Don't try to act like you're over it. I did buy a PS3 just for Mortal Kombat 2011. So. That's cool. That's cool. I'm glad you did that. Um, but yeah, it, man. Um, it's, um, but it's been a while since my last uh, um, uh, since my last MK event. So this is um, uh, this has been um, uh, this has been rather nice. Yeah. I mean. Well, I was telling these guys earlier about my first, uh, um, I just remembering my first MK event. I was, I was actually, um, a little bit of trivia, I was brought into, uh, kind of looks like him too, doesn't he? Uh, I was first brought into MK Online, oh well back then, MK5.org. Wait, 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 this is, this is your sorry, best part? Sorry, sorry, go ahead. We were, um, Scott Howell actually brought both me and, uh, Justin in to MK the same time. Um, 
mk5.org at the same time. You brought us, you, you yeah. at the same time kind of reached so out was, to both of us. Well, yeah, 2002 was the first E3 we did, which yep. for MK Daily Alliance. Yep. And so I was a senior in high school. <laughs> And I think I had like exams coming up or something, so I couldn't go. Yeah. Midway out for us, I think two passes or three passes. I think it was two at the time. Yeah, two at the time. And I, I didn't really even know you. I mean, I knew you guys. You were. We were, um, we were we were we were both on the IRC chat at the time, which is still going on. Like if you're in the Discord, you're still in the IRC yeah. technically. But I mean, I mean, I just needed somebody to come. And, like, yeah. I I was just like, I was just like, eh, it's a lark. I'll do it. <laughs> But for me, it was like, oh, my lifelong dream was to go to E3. Best, like, maybe you can elaborate on this, but you've always said, little did you know. Yeah, I did not know it would, um, I would get as involved as I did. Yeah. The, uh, but, I mean, it was, um, it was an experience. I mean, my, um, uh, the very, um, I walked in, I remember walking in with Justin. We see, MK, we see the, all the MK Deadly Alliance displays. And I go up there, and I decide, hey, I'm going to... Uh, there's somebody playing Deadly Alliance right now. I'll, I'll, I'll go get a, get a try. And I walk up and I said, hey, do you mind if I play? And he goes, sure. And I go up and I play against him and I win. I'm like, great. And then I looked and I realized, oh, crap, I just beat Ed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, tell the story about um, Joey meeting Ed Boone. So, um, uh, so wait, the wait, why don't we wait till we get Joey on here to tell that story? He'll be, he'll be okay. circulating. That's a great story. But you know what? I have another one I can tell. Okay. This is more between me and Bishop, and I don't know if you were here for this part. What year? What about? Good question. Well, I guess we would have been for Deception, I think. Well, I so, 2004. This. Was this when we met? Or no? Oh, that's yeah, an even there. better story. I'll tell that story. Okay. 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 We have we have a bunch of stories for you guys. Tell tell the one when you two first met. So um so um so I'll 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 set it up first by saying, the, um uh, my my very first words to Howl in person were, "What the hell is going on?" <laughs> so now um, uh, go go back about thirty minutes. And I, um, I go back um, from that statement. I'm in my cab. Um, it's E3 2004, and I'm in my cab headed to the uh, um, headed from the airport to the hotel we thought we were going to be at. Um, uh, I'm uh, staying at that uh, CC Shadow had um, arranged for us. And um, while I'm on the, um, he had booked the uh, hotel months in advance. Got the confirmation number. Everything. Right. So I'm. Um, so I get a call from. Um, I get a call from Scott, and I pick up the phone. and He's like, "The hotel gave away our rooms." They and I was like, and I, I and I said, I was like, "What happened?" They said they claimed his credit card was declined. Impossible. Which was really impossible. But the problem is we couldn't just uh, verify it at the time because he was um because uh, uh, Joey he was, was on a flight himself. He was on a he was in um, he was somewhere over uh, Kansas at the time I think. So we were um uh, so um uh, so we were faced with the prospect of not having a hotel room for. Uh, um, uh, for E3. It so, wouldn't be a good spot to think about it. We're there at E3 for the week and we don't have a place to stay all of a sudden. And the event was about to start. I mean, when we got there, we only had like two hours. Yeah, we were going to another... We were going to... It wasn't E3, but we were going to another... Yeah, it was an MK Deception launch party. Right. It was a, so, um, uh, basically, we get there and they stonewall us. I, I, I walked in the door and that, that's when I said... Um, you walk into the room and you see... Uh, and you see at the, first glance, uh, and you see I'm the hotel like, you know, I'm excited to meet Bishop, so I'm like, hey. and you say you're And I said, what the hell is going on? And then you're like, <laughs> and then you go, hi, I'm Scott. <laughs> so, I mean, it was, um, I mean, again, it, in all fairness, it wasn't his fault. We actually did manage to find a hotel out in Burbank, but it was, uh, it was, a, um, but it was not a fun, it was not a fun afternoon. Now, what was the story? Now, what was the story you were thinking of? Well, I was sleeping peacefully, minding my own business, and you're already up. You're, I guess, you're a morning person. Right. So, you wake up and you're like, "Hey, Tabmok, look at this! Midway just posted a new trailer for the game," and I'm like, "I'm sleeping." I'm like, "Check another fan site. Check all the other fan sites. See if they posted it." So you do. You load up some of the other fan sites. You're like, no, they haven't posted it yet. So I spring to life and I pop up and I go, well, good. Then at least we're not trailing behind them. 
How, do you remember your reaction? I actually don't remember my reaction, but I don't think it would have been good. No. <laughs> you were like, ah, oh, it's first thing in the morning, it's too early for this. Just, just as little a little bit for his puns, for uh, the good and the bad. Well, I mean, I'm a... There, I'm a again, this might have... This story might have waited till Joey got here, but there was a uh, there was one time at dinner where he he and uh, another member, Mobster for Christ, were doing puns back and forth, and I finally looked at them and I said, you know, there is such a thing as justifiable homicide. And what made the whole thing was Joey's father was um, like a couple of spaces down. He just turns. He goes, <laughs> I didn't know about that part before. <laughs> oh man, I remember the puns that, that we were making too. Because Mobster was talking about going on a honeymoon to to Rome. And I'm like, oh, you just decided to go there and roam around for a bit, huh? He's <laughs> like, and yeah, we'll also go to the Vatican. That, that's a pretty popular place. Oh man. <laughs> he's reliving it. He's getting nightmares. <laughs> no, I'm trying not to. Uh, man. No, I'm. You see what I have to deal with, people. All the time. All the time. Pretty much. Yeah. This is basically why you kind of retired from, from Mortal Kombat Online for a while. Not gonna lie. Probably, it was it probably, part it, of it. When it comes down to it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, alright, so, going back to the chat, I see Baraka MK talking about, uh, you know, I'm going to the tournament, Hatmok 99 is taking the tournament, and then MK Universe. Hey, did you win, Justin? It's like, actually... The tournament hasn't even started yet. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think because we had a surprise guest come into the arcade, that sort of changed the timetable of things. So the tournament hasn't actually begun yet. But hey, look. Oh, no. Never mind. I was going to say, Fatal Kate is back. I thought we might want to... In the, um, NBA Jam book um, says, uh, is asking if Ed is here as a casual guest or is he doing any signings. He's, um, I think it's a little bit of a combination of both. Yeah. He definitely did... Photo. He definitely took photos with us. And um, with I, I've seen fans. I've seen him do some I've seen him do some signings, but um, his People presence here. He's been bringing stuff to sign. For, yeah, but yeah. Um, but it's not his. Um, but his presence here was a complete surprise. Yeah, did not see. Yeah, because I was actually I was my he son's was unannounced. here. My son Jackson's here. He's ten. And I was trying to find him. He's been playing at games all afternoon. Well, now and, he's met Ed too. And like I said, it's, it's tight space between the rows. And Ed was really like kind of pushing me aside to get through. And he kind of met eyes. And he's like, hey. And my, my mouth dropped just a little bit. I'm a little fanboy. He recognizes oh, you. Oh, I mean, well, I mean, I, well, um, I was heading out to look for um, uh, to look for Scott. And I will, um, and I, I just, he's right in front of me. I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and he written. Uh, okay, so uh, well, we're well, going to... Well, you can wait till, until... Well, let me... Well, um, yeah, go ahead. I'll, uh, yeah, please do. Let's, yeah. let's get Philip yes. on. On. Yes. Uh, I did. Uh, <laughs> That's strike two, by the way. Um, uh, strike three is coming up. Uh, I, were the strikes for when I do a pun or for when I don't do a pun? I don't remember. Uh, excuse me, people. Oh. Hey. <laughs> All right. Looks like it's either me or hey, him. Bishop just showed mercy, but not. But not actually. You. Oh. There we go. You, I um, I am tagging out. I'll tag out for this. What? What the master said. Okay. Come on. The mic. Uh, right here. It'll pick everybody up. Oh. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at this. Right. Jonan, Jonan 01 just walked into the room. Oh. Yo, suckas. Oh, look out. We got, yeah. uh, we got the whole crew here. So, Philip, thank you for coming on, man. It's good to have you. You look fantastic as always, oh, my friend. So. Fix my hair. <laughs> there we go. Got the hairdresser there. <laughs> looking good, looking good. I don't know about now that. we're all sad. <laughs> Philip, we always see you at, at Combat Con. I've seen you at a couple other events. We were out that night at, uh, at Sylvie's, seeing Aunt Kung Lao and the Scorpions. Oh, man. So good to finally have you on our stream. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. All right. Well, I, I always think... love coming out to these, you know, to meet old and newer fans. It's a privilege to be able to meet fans and sign autographs or whatever just to shoot the breeze. Yeah. 
Uh, always fun to see you doing these things, especially uh, the photos of you in the Mortal Kombat 2 costume. Those are legit. Uh, they were mine, so I guess they're legit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially the way you kick, like, straight up. Yeah. In that one photo, they don't, they don't even think they put that move in the game, which is a shame. But you kick so high. Can you still kick like that? Complain? Yes. Complain to Ed about that. He's right here. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell, him, tell him to remake MK2 and put that kick in there. <laughs> you definitely can do that. But yeah, I mean, there's you got some nice photos to, to sign for people at your at your table. Um, I might go grab a couple of those and show them on the stream. Is that okay? Sure. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, maybe maybe we can have somebody else do that for us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, can you go get one of those uh, shaft photos? The, 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 the multi. Yes, the multi one, the smaller one. Yep. But, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. We've noticed that um, people have continued to put some footage of, of you from MK2 from the shoots, like video of you doing the MK2 uh, filming. Have they? Yeah, and uh, I didn't know if, if you had any extra footage maybe of that. Well, I've, I've put some on my fan page, yes. Okay. That's excellent. So they're probably just sharing what I put. Yeah. Unless they have something that I Oh, yes. There you go. So um, this, this is what I'm talking about. Wait. Uh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about, where that one in the middle, like right... Okay, right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, such a high kick. My God. Yeah. And you can still do that. When I'm warmed up. Yeah, right. Don't, kids, don't try that at home without warming up. That's right. That's like stretching before exercise. That's a thing you gotta do. Actually, right? you stretch after you exercise. But, after you exercise. But make sure you're warmed up. Yes. Before you exercise. Absolutely. Good point. So, um, after Mortal Kombat 2, have yes. you done any other video games? Well, real fans know that we film for Theo Realm Fighters. Yes. But never came out. Yes, we have an unreleased beta of that though, the Atari oh. Jaguar game. So okay, cool. I would like to look at it. I've never seen it. So. Right, next time we hang out, I'll bring you a copy. Okay. Yeah, we go. And then, um, then you guys don't know this, but Hosung Pak's brother-in-law wanted to make a game, so some of us filmed for it, and again, it never came out. Oh. Do you think there's a prototype of that one? I have no idea. Uh, okay. Ask Hosung. Next I don't time, even know if he would know. Yeah. That's, that's, a good, that's a good question. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so a couple games. They didn't end up going anywhere. Yeah. Um, but at least you were in Mortal Kombat 2, which is a huge one. Oh, you just got summoned, dude. You are up for the Mortal Kombat 2 tournament. All right, I got to go to this tournament. Uh, I'll gotta, explain for you. I got to ask you, though, who do you think is going to win between me and Justin in Mortal Kombat 2? I pick your character, so. I pick okay. Andy Pacino. In that case, uh, for sure. Go, 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 go. go for go, go, go. sure, Justin. <laughs> Go, Justin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so he... That's cool that their voice carried. We knew he was being summoned. Okay. Hey, look who joined us. It is Dark Bishop in the house. Dark Hello. Bishop. <laughs> awesome. What makes you Dark Bishop? Um, I'm a, my name is Bishop, and I wear dark clothes. Oh. <laughs> I was always wondering about the mystery behind it. Thank you. That was, what a great question. Dark Bishop. Okay. Awesome. Sorry. I, I thought you were a bishop. And um, <laughs> sorry, I, I, don't, I, I don't walk diagonally. No. So. <laughs> what kind wow, of 4D three, chess are you guys three, playing here? Three different plays on the word bishop. Wow, that's good. I've heard them all. Okay. <laughs> so, I have, um, uh, forgive me for fanboying for a second, but I, um, I, I would like to say that um, your um, uh, MK2 Shang Tsung is probably my favorite character in the entire franchise. So. Oh, well, thank you very much. So it's tell, tell the other Shang Tsung that's here that I'm, the, John I'm your favorite yeah, Shang Tsung. Yeah, it's a little competitive I, 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 here. I'm, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's that okay. would not end well for me. Yeah, it's okay. I, I want you to live a little longer. So. Uh, yeah, that would. My, my wife and son, thank you. <laughs> Luckily, if you do confront John Turk, we've got a doctor right here. Yeah. And, and you know, John's a nice um, guy. Yeah, uh, actually, but, most of us outside of our, you know, characters are, are nice guys. Yeah. Uh, we, I'll be, we, I'll won't, be honest. we won't actually perform fatalities. I'll be honest. I find, you, I find you the most intimidating out of all the cast. Really? Yes. Mm. Well, okay. not, well, not only are you strong and flexible, but you're also smart because you got that medical background. And as I learned from watching Seinfeld, he who make who heal 
can also make it ill. You're right. Yeah. I, so, I, think I, I, I think I saw that in a fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. But, um, did you, um, uh, I, I also have to say I'm very impressed with all the... Um, all the uh, Charity work is not the right word I would use, but um, all the the work you do in like Honduras and stuff. Well, thank you. It's my pleasure, and when people that if I get invited, if I have uh, the opportunity and the time, I will go. In the past, I used to lead groups myself, but it takes a lot of a lot of time, a lot of organization. And so I stopped doing that for a while, and so now if I get invited, then I'll go. So I would like to hear about some of those. Um, you mentioned Honduras, Dark Bishop. What other countries have you been to to, yeah, to do so volunteer I, work? I've been to Honduras about 25 times. Wow. And then I've been to a couple countries in Africa yeah. and Haiti. And this year, from before my trip to Honduras, I went to Jamaica. And people think Jamaica, you know, that's a vacation place. Well, most countries have vacation spots, but like Honduras even has vacation spots, uh, but, but overall the country is poor. There's right. people the, in um, the, um, a lot. The, um, like, like you said, I mean, um, you you would think. Um, I'm sorry, the, <laughs> but no, the, uh, Must be the I, I have I have a bit of a stutter, but the oh, uh, but the um, but you're, um, uh, absolutely um, uh, some some of the places that you would think are like the most rich are also some of the places where you have the most need as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's there's inequality and stuff. So there's people there. There's there's room for for help. Well, I just think it's a great thing that you do for the people there. Thank you, but it's my pleasure. Um, just like it's a pleasure for me to come out to these days. Yeah. yeah. No, the pleasure's all ours. Thank you. Um, so can you tell us more about your medical background and your history there? Like, uh, what are you what are you doing these days? So I'm in the city. Uh, I've been I've practiced. I've always practiced on the south side of Chicago. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you beat the game, Mortal Kombat 2, it says MD on, right. after my name. So I was in residency when I filmed for this game. That's pretty so, cool. Yeah, and I, I didn't plan on going into entertainment for my career. So I didn't have any interruptions in my medical tra training and then uh, work afterwards doing any anything, whether it's uh, filming or going to conventions and meeting you guys and so forth. So I, I have a million questions about that. Like, okay. only I, We only have time for a 999,000. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll take one down. I'll pass it around. Um, <laughs> so what about shows like House and, and The Good Doctor? Do you think you watch shows like that? And it, no. Okay. I, I just wanted to get a sense of if they're I, accurate at all or what. I, the only medical show I watched on a regular basis was ER. Yeah. And um, initially it was mostly medical. Then towards the end it became more of, of a soap opera. Like drama. Yeah. yeah. And uh, sometimes I caught errors, but for the most part it was pretty accurate. They get. I was told that their scripts get uh, scrutinized by real medical doctors. Oh, so they act as a consultant to yes. help them keep uh -huh. it realistic. Yes. Good. Good. Well, I mean, um, I, I can imagine. Well, that I can imagine that's frustrating because I work in IT, and you um, uh, you can't imagine how many times you look, I, I watch just watch something and I go, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I hear the same thing about a lot of cop shows and, and lawyer shows. I mean, you name it. Any, anybody in the field has trouble watching those shows and taking them seriously. Yeah. So we got a good question from a fan. Uh, NBA Jam, the book, what is Philip's best or strangest story about meeting a fan? Oh, strangest story. Well, okay, so we were popular when we first filmed. No, and then we've been popular now the la last few years so a story when I was when after, shortly after we filmed I remember we were at a tournament I think it was in the Chicagoland area and, and a couple of us were Going to going to going to I think a party like it was
was an innocent party with kids and everything, but we were going by, passing by a pool, and these teenage girls asked... I like where this is going. Yeah, <laughs> so they wanted us to have, or me, I don't remember if they asked the other guy, to have like a Rob Lowe moment, and I, I said, girls, 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 you know. <laughs> so that was one, and then I, needless to say, I, I resisted. It wasn't even a real temptation. And then, but, um, another fan story I have, this one's good. When I was in Argentina with Daniel Casino, we were on stage and Daniel did a little demonstration of a rope dart and um, they asked me to do a demonstration, and, but I was wearing jeans. I didn't want to do simple stuff, so I, I said, in Spanish, I said, does anyone know how to dance bachata? And so this girl dressed in co uh, cosplaying as Raiden came up and we danced bachata and the fans really, really liked that. And, and so afterwards, when we were leaving, we were stopped by fans to get autographs and so forth while we we're still on stage. And one, one of the couples, I remember, wanted me to like take a picture with the with their baby and like bless the baby and so forth. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I felt like the Pope. But, wow. Some she's from Argentina. No, yeah. yeah. So, wow, so you no. went from stealing souls to yeah, saving there souls. You there you yeah. go. Oh, wow. Babyality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, we've heard about the dancing. Um, I think I found out about that last time when, when we were at Sylvie's. Um, but that picture of you with Lady Raiden, I think that was making the rounds on social media. I, I think I came across yeah. that. You remember I've, seeing I've that? I've seen it, yeah. 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 yeah, that's awesome. It was fun. So do you, I know you've traveled a lot for the volunteer stuff, but it looks like you're traveling a lot for the, the video game conventions as well too, huh? I wouldn't say a lot. Dan Not Dan as much. Daniel travels a lot. He yeah, does. But South America is like his place. Right. Yeah. And he, uh, you know, he doesn't have as a demanding of a job as I do. He doesn't, he doesn't have any children that I know of. That, uh, <laughs> no. Maybe even that he knows <laughs> yeah, of. Yeah. Um, so he's got more freedom to do that stuff. And yeah. So I just go, I don't know, a couple, two to maybe five times a year somewhere. Not, well, I've only been overseas. I believe twice. Yeah. Argentina and Norway. Norway was earlier this year. Oh, yeah, that's right. I do remember that. Yeah. I was thinking about getting a ticket to Norway for that. Then I realized, ah, there's Norway. I can do that. <laughs> ah. Isn't that strike two with you on puns today? <laughs> well, you missed, you missed like 99 other strikes. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just great to have you here, man. I mean, it's so good that you showed up and that you're having fun. And uh, it's just, it's been a blast. It's been a, a lot more laid back, I think, than the usual cons. And I kind of like that. You know, you guys can be a little more interactive with the fans. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. And do you, guys, do, you always, do you guys always do this at cons? I don't remember... We, yeah. we do it occasionally. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. When we can. Sometimes sometimes the Wi Fi is not that good. Oh, um, so sometimes it doesn't make sense. But like here, we're pretty good. What are we on anyway? Mortal Kombat Online. Okay. Yep. That's right. Oh, look at this. We all got the. Oh, hey. where's mine? Oh, we'll get you one. We can definitely make it for you. Yeah, no problem. Absolutely. No issues with that. Yep. So I love how. Um, seeing you when you go on and you interact with the fans on the actual game. Like you get up to a machine and you just pick your character and start playing. Uh, I'm not good. That's okay. Yeah. So even I remember being beaten by a little kid and then once by even a teenage girl <laughs> yeah. using my own character. They beat me. Mm. So. Yes, it's tough. Yeah, it, I, <laughs> I would say my priorities were more in studying. So. That's okay. I get it. School's cool. Um, do you ever play on any of the other, like the Super Nintendo, or the Sega Genesis consoles, or have you only really stuck to the arcade versions? I have at home, but I haven't set it up. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Sega Genesis, I believe, but I don't think, when I first bought it, I'm sure I set it up, but then after I moved, I haven't set it up, so I don't, I just, 
don't have time. When yeah. It, now that it. now that Galloping Ghost is here, and I don't live that far from it, so if I want to really play it, I could just come to the arcade and play it. Anytime. Yeah. But you don't have an arcade machine in your kitchen or anything, right? Um, no. Like only only a total lunatic would have an MK2 arcade machine in his kitchen, right? Guilty's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> charged. No, I think that's the coolest thing. I, I actually want one of those too. It is pretty cool. Yeah. You know, it's fun. So I dig it. I, I love the arcade versions. The console versions are cool too. They are. They, you know what? I, that's obviously as a kid, that's what you spent more of your time on. And then as gaming got more advanced, you could spend more time with the arcade version. I was actually one of the oddballs that literally lived out of an arcade. There was oh, an arcade across from my dad's car dealership, and I used to just after school, I'd go there and hang out all the time. Good for you. And it was just, it was just so much fun. Well, Phil, can you take us back to when? Uh, I guess it would be after the filming was done, obviously, and when you first got to see yourself on screen. Like, what was your reaction at, at first seeing yourself? That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if Mortal Kombat wasn't out already and my friends were not in it already, it would have been, I'm sure it would have been mind blowing. But I already kind of sensed what was coming, you know, right. so it wasn't that much of a surprise. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I, because Mortal Kombat, you know, the pixels aren't as good, but, but you could tell it's like, Real, Real people. people. Yeah. So when I when I first saw Mortal Kombat 2, uh, including myself, I said, it "Looks more cartoonish than I imagined." You know, like so that was I remember thinking that, but but I said, oh, "But it's still me. I, those moves are mine." And so, forth. so that part was okay. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Oh, uh, there's a story that I heard you um, sharing before where people thought that you were actually playing Liu Kang and not Shang Tsung. Yeah, I mean... I'm up? Oh, I guess I'm up next. I, I won. You did? Yes. I didn't know that was going to happen. So when you get summoned, you have to win, but I guess oh. I'm up again, so... Congratulations on your win, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Until I beat you. Well, uh, can we get CC Shadow on here? Let's go switch it out. Thank you. So, I, I don't remember your question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, okay, so yeah, people thought you were saying They some. just assume okay. that, you know, because I'm Asian, in particular Korean, they just look at the game and look at the characters and say, oh, that must be Philip. Right? Luke Kang must be Philip because Shang Tsung. You know, just because you're both Asian. Yeah. And is it true that even people in your own family got confused? My cousins thought that I was looking at them. <laughs> they should know better. Well, I don't know that they based it on looking at the characters. They just knew that there was a Asian character. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so what kind of stories can you share with us about what happened during the filming of the game? Uh, like... Like any funny uh, stories about when that was happening? Funny stories. Well, people, I've told this, so, you know, I can't grow much facial hair, so John Tobias had to grow, I mean, a, a draw, not grow, draw a goatee on me. So. With a magic marker or something? He, well. A Sharpie? He had, no, he had some, something that you use for. Marking up, you know, people's okay. faces or bodies, I guess. Like some kind of face paint, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And so. then. Um, it looks really good. It looks realistic here. Only one of those has it. This yeah, one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let me show this one. So it's again. Oops. The one where he's where you're kicking really high. That's the one with the facial hair. Um, that's not actually real. It looks really good though. So the other funny things is that funny stories. Mortal Kombat was big, so MK2, they should have known it was going to be big, but they still didn't have much of a budget, I guess, and so a lot of the costume parts that you see there, I brought, like, those are my shoes, those are my pants, uh, I don't So remember. it's just the belt and yeah, it's the just suspenders, the yellow, and, um, and, and I guess the armbands, yeah. maybe the leg oh, yeah, wraps, yeah. like, just the, the yellow The smaller stuff, stuff is... Yeah. So all the yellow stuff it's was midway. midway. Everything else is mine. Interesting. So do you still have all that stuff? Yes. That's cool. 
you ever but you're smiling for, like that. It makes you, me think the answer is no. Do you ever walk no, around I do for either. Halloween or? No, actually, someone wanted me to, and I said, nah, nah. But I don't know. I I, I haven't ruled that out. One only if I go with like Molina and Katana. Oh, you don't want to be part of a group. At my side, yeah, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah, that would make it. Yeah, that would make it epic. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, what's cool is in the story, uh, your Shang Tsung character is the one who actually creates Molina by cloning Katana. So in a way, you know, you're responsible for her creation. That sort of makes you her father. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I guess now you're never gonna look at Molina the same. Lena, my, do- my daughter. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks. So, uh, do you have any questions that you wanted to ask? No, me? I just sat down. So. Oh, good for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess we could give away some. Oh, you know what? Before we do the giveaway, I do have one question now. That you're, we're talking about your costume and how much of it is yours and how much of it was Midway's. The nude costume, the one that you wore last year at Combat Con, that's not that's the same all one. Mine. No. Um, that's all new. I believe that's all new because my pants have faded a little bit, so mm-hmm. I wanted a more black pants. Shoes got a little tight because I had not worn them in a long time. Yeah. And the hat, I don't know what happened to the hat, so I got another. I got another hat. Okay. Yeah. So that's all. Awesome. All right. So. Um, I wish they I wish they put you in another Mortal Kombat game because that Mortal Kombat 2 design was sick. I guess it didn't work out to to, to the sequel or anything. I, I mean, if someone else wants to create another game, I could still you could still be do yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. You're still, all right. Look at that. Philip On is down for another video game <laughs> of some sort. Sure. Yeah. It'll be easy. Well, you know what? Actually, there is a guy here who's working on a game. I don't know if you've seen him. Richard Cook, he's working on a game called Super Combat Fighter. He's around. Um, if you're willing to do another game, I, <laughs> that, that actually could happen. Set me up. Yeah, I will. You know what? If I see him, I'll send him over to your table. Great. Okay, hey, thank you so much for being on our stream. This is great. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, all, all my fans. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Scott, you want to come back? Oh, wait a minute. Can we give this back to you? Thank you. <laughs> it was free. Why would we steal it? <laughs> Can you recap that whole interview for us? We missed it. Uh, yes, I will say that that was a great and insightful interview. And if you didn't have a chance to see it while it was live, go back and watch it on the YouTube.com. That is where we will upload the archive when we are all said and done. What's going on in the chat? Um, well, Chris Cornhole was talking about an episode of ER. What? Chris Cornhole was talking about an episode of ER. Well, that was one of the things that we were talking about earlier. Was um, if shows like ER are realistic in any way? And he said they're actually uh, the well. One that, e, um, e, the only one he really spoke about was ER. Yeah. Yeah, and he said that they were pretty good. Sometimes there's a couple errors because scripts generally have like a medical consultant. Um, right. They're pretty much on point. Hey, uh, by the way, maybe like 10 minutes ago, I streamed on Twitter Ryan playing the Mortal Kombat 2 tournament over there. Oh, yeah. What are you, are you in the tournament? They should call me at some point. Because he's, on, he's I, on his second time playing. Uh, I guess I got skipped. You know what? Let me go over there and straighten this out right now. You guys, you guys have fun here. Yeah. I'll be right back. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot the Braves for a few minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that, I folks. Ryan, I think Ryan just lost. He's coming back. I'll, I'll vacate the care when it when he comes around. So now you guys can just ask us anything. We can just be completely honest because the, the hosts aren't here. Any questions for us? Well, it's um, one. I will say that one running theme that I have noticed from everybody here involved with, from Chris Alexander to um, um, uh, to every um, Chris Alexander said it. I've noticed it. The others have said it. It's just how we um, uh, we never really expect 
when we get into um, uh, dealing with MK, just how much it changes our lives. I mean, I am. Um, uh, I mean, it's if the he uh, aspect of it. the community aspect is so incredible. You know, um, uh, and um, it really does come down to uh, um, uh, camaraderie um, of the MK fans. Because um, uh, um, you. Which is not something you expect to see from a game where um, uh, people's heads are getting ripped off or uh, they're being in- eaten alive by insects. Yeah, and grant- granted, I-, I think of it this way. I mean, I'm only a huge fan of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> wow, that was good, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I heard it, then I processed it. Um, there's a lot of communities out there. We've been talking about just community fan bases. We talked a lot about uh, Harry Potter this weekend. Because right. Warner Brothers, you know, that's, Warner Brothers owns Harry Potter, right? Uh, well, um, uh, they, they license Harry well, they Potter. they license, yeah, that's what I mean. But uh, as far as the movies and films. But but this community in Mortal Kombat, honestly, has one of the best communities ever. I remember when I came to Combat Con last year, um, you know, I have kind of took a step back from the website for a few years. As, um, you know, we both kind of started a family. Right. Um, not with each other. Not with each other. Let's go on the record. Not with each other. <laughs> but um, well, we're both married now. Have, you know, I have three kids. Yeah, it's Lucas. And, um, but when I came to Combat Con, I was just, last year, and I'm seeing that here too, I'm just struck by how well the community members get together, and how um, giving the um, how, how giving the yeah. um, uh, the actors and the developers are to the fans. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Or well, even just like you know, we gotta talk about this a little bit. You know, just John Goble last night coming out to have dinner right. with us. And, yes. I mean, that's just awesome. Exactly. You know? Chris Cornhole asks, "How many cast members are there?" I only know that Philip On and Chris Alexander are there. Well, um, uh, John Turk, who played uh, the ninjas, and um, and Shang Tsung in MK3. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a someone behind me. Yeah, there's somebody behind us. Not sure who it is, yeah. but uh, no, he's there. Go on. <laughs> um, John Turk from uh, who played the ninjas um, in MK um, and. Shang Tsung in MK3 and Ultimate MK3, and Sub Zero in you know, MK Mythologies is here. Um, and Brian Glenn, who is Shao Kahn in MK2 and MK3, is here. Uh, John Parrish, Jax, just, um, just got here about an hour ago. Um, and uh, there might be one or two, one or two other people who might be right behind me. Your, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Favorite actor who's here? Um, well, I've already fanboyed about. Um, I fanboyed about uh, uh, Philip On already. Um, yeah. I, I feel bad because I have a Shao Kahn bubblehead at home that I had intended to get you know, have Brian Glynn sign, but uh, I got I got to the hotel. I'm being a um, bubblehead. <laughs> hey, did you get the tournament worked out? Oh yeah, uh, I lost. That, was that sucked. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I, I was up against a. You gotta represent your I was up against a very, very tough opponent. Do I need to tell CC Shadow? No, but if Fatal Kid goes up against this guy, he's done. He lost a tournament. No. I Fatal mean, like, Kid won. immediately. There was some. I don't know why exactly what happened, uh, but I hear that it's a very funny story. So hopefully, Fatal Kid will tell us exactly how his loss got changed to a win. But he's back in the tournament. So, something happened. So, Justin, while you were gone, we were just kind of talking about yeah. he was here in the community aspect and kind of answering questions as they come in. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, this guy, Chris Cornhole, he asked how many cast members... We already covered it. Already covered it. Good. Catch up with us. Come on, buddy. All right. And Lone Wolf says he's not in the mood for playing MK Trivia tonight. Little does he know, we're not doing MK Trivia tonight. We are MK Trivia. No. Ah, we're, we're, well, you know what? Not in the standard bot sense, right? We're not going to have the bot set it up. We should ask some difficult trivia questions, but I'll tell you what. Um, go on Twitter right now. Whoever tweets out the URL to this stream, you're going to get the business cards. Yeah. Just like that? Just Now's your chance. Tweet out the... Tweet out the um, URL to this stream right now. Tag MK Online on Twitter, and we you will win these fine business cards. That's right. 
Oh, do you um, want to hold the business cards up because people may have forgotten what they're getting. I got them right here. There you go. You're in the middle. Yeah, man. Look at those things. Look at those things. So I guess what I will do is I will do a search for the address on. Well, I, I said tag the uh, tag MK online. Yeah, that's true. That'll make it easier. That would really make. If it you're alive. first and you didn't tag MK online, well, we can't accept that entry. Sorry. <laughs> or you could reply and just you know reply to that and then tag us in the reply. Let's scoot in a little bit, Justin. What's that? Let's scoot in a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me scoot in a little bit here. There we go, nice and cozy. Sorry, I'm a big guy. I, I tend to crowd these guys out. He's exaggerating. <laughs> He's exaggerating in a big way. <laughs> this is why I drink. See, this is this is the thing. When you find out that somebody reacts this badly to puns, it really just makes you want to do them more and more. I don't know if that's a kind of form of bullying or what, but it's just when you see that, you have to do it. It's more. called bullying a dragon. <laughs> Waking a sleeping giant. Touche. <sighs> well, you guys didn't sign up for any tournaments then, huh? Are we about you? You were you were there. You don't you know, know what ask him. Ask we're just yeah. terrible at the game. I um, right. I am uh, I'm I'm terrible at MK. I mean I, I got up there and I was like, okay, this is why I not do tournaments. I'll tell a quick story um, yeah. about how bad I am. Uh oh. And this is why I won't get into the full details of it. But a while back, um, uh, a certain network was um, this is probably 2004 2005 was going to do a pilot about video game fans, um, like a TV show, and they were interviewing me. And you know, and the lady was like all excited, like, oh wow! So you're the you're the webmaster of Mortal Kombat Online. So are you like you enter like tournaments? Are you like a world champion? I'm like, no, I just kind of like the story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's um, and that's um, and I mean that's fair. I mean, I will. Um, you don't have to be good at something just no. to enjoy it. Exactly. I mean, if everybody say, who enjoyed football uh, had to be like able to go pro, yeah. then the NFL wouldn't be able to make money off of But sorry, I probably lost our opportunity to be on that TV show. But it never happened to me. No, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know, if, I don't know if that show ever got greenlighted. Okay, I don't think it ever even got greenlighted. This is actually the first time I've heard this story. It, it was MTV. Uh, uh, yeah, it was. It was MTV. Yeah. Okay, um, at this point, I'm going to tag out and um, uh, Ryan is going to well, uh, jump in. Just take a smoke real quick. Oh, okay so, then. We'll see you in a minute. I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah. He's going to turn into human smoke. <laughs> Smoke wins. You know, Eventual fatality. You know, the thing is, there actually is no uh, morph into smoke, is there? Not until MK Trilogy. That's a good point. Yeah. You look like you have something you want to say. Actually, I just blanked out for a second, uh, so... <laughs> it's been a long day, we haven't had lunch yet, and it's... About six o'clock. Yeah. So we're, we're a little grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we should try and see if we can get somebody else on stream here. Um, that, um, that would be nice. Yeah. Um, uh, you Philip Bond was great. Yeah. Um, Chris oh. Alexander leave? Yeah, Chris Alexander left right before the stream started. Okay. It would have been nice to have him on. Chris was a, um, a really gracious um, a guest here at the, uh, at the con. And behind you, you can see combat trying to do his interview negotiation deals. <laughs> yeah, I'll, um, uh, <laughs> how's the stream doing? Is it still buffering, guys, a lot? Yeah, how's the stream? Um, how's the stream quality, guys? Oh. Oh. Oh, we're, we're gonna leave. Wait, so Scott, why don't you? <laughs> You, um, you'll have to forgive me. I, I fanboy too easily to do an interview. Good. All right, so look at this. I'll, I'll, I'll step in. What exactly is this? It's a live it's a podcast. Live podcast. Yeah, guys, so welcome to the Mortal Kombat Online live stream. Um, 
We try to, you know, have fun. We talk about Mortal Kombat news, things that's going on with the franchise. And, of course, we love to do interviews with the greats, the ones who are involved in the originals and the classics like you guys. So this is great. Um, do you want to just give your names and introduce yourself and the characters you play? Sure. Uh, my name is Brian Glenn, and I played Shao Kahn in uh, Mortal Kombat 2, 3, 4... Probably not four. Five, no, come on. <laughs> you, you know way more about it than I do. That <laughs> might be true. Uh, uh, John Turk and I uh, played uh, Sub Zero, the unmasked Sub Zero, uh, Scorpion, Ermac, Smoke, uh, Shang Tsung. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's so hard to think. Most all the ninjas. There's so many. Yeah, like yeah. reptile. I was also the war gods. I was, I was war and war gods. Hey, that's right. War gods. Oh man, yeah. Well, that gave you such different technology. It was it was a crazy effect. Yeah, that's when they first started like the wrap around. Right. Or as I like to call it, the reach around technology. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was no, that was pretty cool. Uh, did you do any other? So yeah, you did. You did Shao Kahn. And then, of course, you're in War Dogs. Did you do any other games after that? I think it was, it was a trilogy. Was it called Trilogy? Trilogy, trilogy yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trilogy. You mean Mortal Kombat Trilogy? Yeah, I don't remember the character. I, uh, I think they just reused the Shao Kahn story. Oh, wait a minute. No. I know what you're talking about. Mortal Kombat Mythology. Oh, Mythology. Yes, that's right. You were one of the, uh, probably one of the fire monk, I bet. There was a red suit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? They probably would have changed your look so much. Um, from that. So we have all kinds of cool char character shots of you like in the Shao Kahn costume. We don't have any shots of you in the Mythologist costume. Do you have any that you can bring to one of these events sometime? Uh, no, I don't. I can't even find any war guys. Oh. Yeah, that's a shame they didn't keep up with that stuff. Oh, yeah, the, that's one of the things that I love about like in the 90s, seeing the magazines like Game Pro and seeing shots yeah, of yeah, you yeah, yeah. in the Sub-Zero yeah. and, and outfit. And, and, and yes. the filming shots, too. They do a lot yeah, of there's like one of Sindel on your lap, Leah Montalongo. Um, mm -hmm. That's all before Instagram and Facebook, though. That's why. Yeah, that's why the magazines, like that was the only place to go to get that stuff. And um, yeah, it was incredible. So for them to not have any shots of you in mythologies, is, that's kind of a tragedy. No, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe there's somebody. I don't even you have any original shots of Mortal Kombat other, other than what I get off of the internet. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, and then of course Doc has the the shot, the glossies here for you to sign. I think he get he, he gets some off of it. Probably. That's why they're kind of crude. Uh, crude photos. He might. Yeah. I think. I think that's quality. He might have to source some of them from the internet, but then he also seems to come up with some cool stuff that nobody's seen yet. So yeah. I think he has an inside source as well, at least for some of the guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what can you tell us about the shooting of Mythologies? Obviously that was really your game. You were the star of the show, but but uh, what, what kind of stories can you tell about uh, what from you did? Mythologies or from Mythologies? Um, any of them. Um, I mean, Mortal Kombat was fun because it's like you, you'd be there all day shooting and you'd end up playing video games half the time. <laughs> and then you'd eat, eat food and then sometimes they'll, you know, back then they would lose the footage and you have to reshoot it. And oh. they'd have to call you back. So. Oh, yeah, then you just get paid extra. It's like, oh no, you lost the footage? Oh, that's a yeah. shame. <laughs> and after mythologies, I think, I mean, not mythologies, but War Gods, they painted. I remember they painted all the stuff on my whole bike took hours, and then we shot all the stuff, and then they realized that it wasn't showing up, so they just reshot everything, and then they added it after. It was oh, okay. Uh, you know what? You never know how something's gonna come out until oh, you start yeah. doing it. So it's double pay. Nice. Nice. So what about you? What, what kind of fun stories from behind the scenes of the Mortal Kombat shoots can you tell us? Uh, my costume always fell off. Every time I did a kick or a punch, you know, I'd flip around. My mask would be over here. My my uh, shin guard would be flying across the room. Yeah. And then uh, it just never stayed on. And then finally, and then when I did, and then when I did Shang Tsung, I had that uh, G string sliding up my uh, uh -oh. my soft end for most of the shoot. That wasn't fun. That wouldn't be comfortable. No, uh, the costumes just weren't uncomfortable. You couldn't really move them. And yeah. every time you do something, you had to redo it because it didn't turn out right because something fell off or flew off. So they look good, but they were I think just. I had the same thing with yeah. the helmet and the shoulder. Yeah, yeah you uh, had more stuff than I did. 
throw a punch and show what that's going to be. Yeah. I mean, we saw a little bit of, of that happening in Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub Zero, where they have the blooper reel at the yeah, end, yeah, 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 and you yeah. are catching her, and she yeah. falls into your arms, and your mask falls yeah, off. This is disaster. And that and I wasn't even hardly moving, and my mask fell off. Right. You know? So right. I would do any kind of so spin no kick. Action. I spun kick a few times, and the mask was like over here on my forehead. It just was, it just wasn't staying on. That right. was pretty cool, but I think that was the biggest thing was uh, the costumes the way they fit. But, you know, it, sometimes too when you would uh, like they had us climbing a mountain, and they, all they were because everything was green screened in. The yeah. mountain was a set of stairs that they would turn into a, a mountain in, uh, oh, you know, so in, in, in post production. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and supposed to be looking down in this cauldron of like fire, and it's I'm looking at a tiled floor, you know. Right. That was my first experience of, you know. But you looked at it, your facial expressions and the reaction. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you're really scared because you're looking at the fire. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it was just everything you had to be with the eyes, you know. You, I, I, how do you move your nose and your face in the mask? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that comes so, across very yeah. well. Yeah. And then you're talking and it, a lot of times it couldn't pick up the sound because the mask muffled my voice and the yeah. mythology. But it was fun, man. I really enjoyed doing it. And, and, and that's my first experience in acting was in mythology. Yeah. Where we had the each level we made to a little acting scene. And, right. And uh, so it was fun, man. That's when I got my first taste kind of love doing the thing. And, uh, and now, had, so that was your first experience acting. Right, right. Have you been to any kind of like drama school or any, any practice in theater? Or no. Nope, no. no and, and that's when I, after that, I started going to acting classes. Okay. I really liked it. And then, then it snowballed into other, you know, roles that I got out and things like that. Can you give us one of your favorite uh, lines from the Sub-Zero game? Finish him. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Actually, I was the voices on those two. Wait a minute. So I went into the sound booth and I did all the... Uh, and oh. finish him, I did all that stuff. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you might have, your voice might be for some of the other characters. Uh, you know, you were voiced by Steve Rich. I didn't have it. Yeah. I, I can't even tell you what the sound booth said. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, you're missing out on some I wasn't very good at the game, so I didn't know what that was. You're, well, you know what? I, I ought to sit down and show you some of the stuff he says because the guy who does the voice for your character is named Steve Ritchie, right. and he has this deep, booming voice. And I don't know if I can even do it justice, but he'll say things like, You weak, pathetic fool. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty good there. Yeah, when you hear that from the uh -huh. game, it's like, whoa, this guy means business. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, if I recall, I think they tried my voice out, but it wasn't that good. Cool. They wanted to put a deeper... Fair enough. Fair. You know, sometimes you can look the part, but they want a different sound. Mm -hmm. But what I think is cool is to have both of you guys on the stream at once. Your career paths both follow a very similar trajectory because you both have your own fitness studio, am I right? No, I don't. I'm not really. Or you're I a fitness mean, trainer. Uh, I, do, I do some fitness training. Yeah, I do more online stuff now. Than I do. Okay. Um, I don't do too many. So you do online fitness training? Yeah. All right, so tell us about that. How can people find you? Uh, it's actually, I do it with a former Mr. Olympia, uh, Jay Collins. So it's called trainbyjay.com. So it's, it's me and him. Uh, but, you know, he has 3 million Instagram followers. I have 1,500 Instagram followers. So <laughs> it, it helps that we promote it him. Even though I do most of the training. Okay. Okay, well, I've actually seen that website before, and I've seen your profile on it. Yeah, so. yeah that's cool. And why don't you tell us about yours, John? Yeah, so um, I live in San Diego, and the website is uh, personaltrainersandiego.com, and the company's Fearless Fitness. So I, uh, I do in-home trainings. I do uh, at a facility. I, I also do uh, online. I, I do nutrition as well. And uh, so, yeah, it's real good, man. I, I, like, I like training. It's fun to watch people change and get in shape, get healthy, and you know, be totally different after they experience what it's like to eat right and exercise. And, and Absolutely. So, any Absolutely. questions from anybody? Well, you know, more of a comment. This uh, Chris Cornhole guy says, <laughs> what are the chances of John Turk's glorious jaw gracing this stream? What is his jaw like in person? And um, basically, just like it's showing up on the stream. That is, no, you know, even, even better in person, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks, man. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch, watch out for your a legit button. name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Follow, follow me on Instagram, by the way, Brian Glenn, B R I N G L Y N. 
Yeah, you know I what? I get my followers to three million someday. Yeah, I don't know how to do this, yeah, but um, my Instagram. But uh, no, maybe somebody should. I got an Instagram and I. Oh, my Twitter account is yeah, uh, like the it. real John Turk. Real John Turk the on real, Twitter. The real John and Turk. Brian Glynn on Instagram. Right, and Facebook too. And Facebook. Yeah, right. I am G L Y N. And my Instagram. All the is hardcore Mortal Kombat fans know exactly how to spell your name, by the way. We see it you in the start, credits. You just started on Instagram, didn't you, John? Yeah, I did. I think I saw that. Yeah, what is my Are you Instagram? guys following each other on Instagram? I think I just started following each other. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I just sure. got it on I think he has, he's, only, he's got less followers than me. <laughs> I know. He's a bigger loser than me. <laughs> Mine is SD Fearless Fitness. SD yeah. Fearless Fitness. Yeah, SD Brian San Glenn. Diego Fearless Fitness. Hey, follow these guys. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. How many uh, people watch this podcast? Um, oh, we got 284 followers right now. Um, internet connection is spotty, so I think a lot of people just got kicked out. So only two of them are live. Yeah. But most people watch like after the fact, like on YouTube and Facebook right, and things right, like right, that. Right, right. Yeah, that's where the real numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if I have two new followers today, I'll know where they came from. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Me and him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. right, right. So tell us about some of the other stuff you've done besides the Mortal Kombat and video games and besides the fitness. I know there's been a lot of interesting career points for you, John, at least, and, and I want to yeah. find out about yours too. But John, tell us about some of the other stuff you've been up to. Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, well, acting-wise, you know, um, you could see everything I did on the IMDb. Hey, take care, Ed. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. Uh, Ed Boone. <laughs> the man. That's the man. Oh, yeah. All right, Ed Boone on our stream, surprise appearance. Yeah. Did not know that was going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what was, oh yeah, so I am Internet Movie Database. There's like five John Turks on there. I'm John Turk number one. Uh, so you can see what, I, what I've done movie wise. But recently I just uh, finished filming a, a movie called Wolf Hunt. And I pay, play a Nazi uh, turtle, a little bad guy. And, uh, a Nazi a, turtle? A Nazi colonel, yeah. Turtle, okay. I'm sorry, I'm thinking not, Ninja not a, Turtles. Not a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> teenage mutant. That yeah, really doesn't seem like I'm you at all. Nazi teenage mutant Ninja Turtle. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. That'd be yeah. better. Um, it's a good film. It's, uh, you know, it's going to be really good. A lot of action. So tell, us, tell us the name again. It's called Wolfhound. It's two separate words. Wolfhound. Wolfhound. Okay. Yeah, it'll be out in August, and it's about the uh, it's about the uh, obviously World War II with Hitler, and right. It's based on a true story, and it's wow. about uh, the Americans uh, were coming into Germany, and they were flying a B-17 bomber escorted by two planes, and the Germans shoot them down, and we they crash land, and I'm the Nazi that has them shot down and brought into my camp. And we turn their planes into Trojan horses. And so they're going to fly into London and do certain things. But it's a really good movie, and it shows the plight of a Jewish American pilot who uh, ends up being a, you know, a very pivotal role in this in this uh, whole operation and in, in helping uh, the Americans survive and get through the whole thing. It's good. It'll be a real good movie. It's done by Sounds Mike cool. Chait, who's done uh, some of films. He's done some rap videos. So it's be a good movie. Well, don't take this the wrong way, but I hope your character dies. He does die. Ah, you oh, spoiler alert! Said, no. <laughs> <laughs> just Dang, I just wrecked it for two I just people. For two people. <laughs> well, congratulations on the role. Yeah. Um, is there any other... Any, I always have to ask this. Did you do anything like writing a book? Is there a fitness book that you've written? Uh, no, I wrote a, I wrote a, 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 a book actually. It's uh, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Christian, and uh, a lot of my friends look at me like I'm weird, but none of them, you know, didn't want to read the Bible, and I, and I, uh, I, I wrote, a, I wrote a book basically that explains the Bible in a, in a really? short version. So I wrote an intro and an end. And then the uh, middle is three books of the Bible, because the Bible's pretty long, a lot of people don't even read it, but it gives people a good understanding of the Bible, and my, my good friend here, Brian, did the cover Bible. for me. Bible? What? Yeah, he, um, he, Bible he's for a... Bible Is it called the Bible for Idiots? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called the Trinity Bible. Okay. And it's, uh, it's uh, you can get it on uh, outskirtspress.com, or my website, which is uh, thetrinitybible.com. So I got to put that well, you know there. what? I would love it if you guys could maybe hook us up with the signed copy or two. We sure. could even give one away on, on the stream at some yeah, point. Yeah, sure, sure. All right, absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll get together later. We'll exchange right. details. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Cool. That's amazing. Yeah. You involved with that too? That's, uh, I did not see that. designing the book cover. Yeah. I, could, I don't know much about it. Okay, <laughs> but... 
but I didn't know that. I did not see that one coming. It's yeah. awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I was the same way. Then I had things happen in my life that kind of drew me that way and uh, did some investigating and everybody's got their path, you know, everybody finds their way and happened to find mine there. So. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. That's great. All right, so what about, uh, are there any other book covers that you've done or any other books you've been involved with, period? Uh, no, no. Um, I do, I'm, I'm a designer, so I design, I design a lot of stuff. Like that, so that's, that's yeah, he does a lot of good graphic design if you need graphic design. Name, uh, that's okay. So I, pay, I also paint. Oh, okay. Well, can people find your work online? Do you have like an art portfolio? Uh, probably can't find it online. <laughs> <laughs> you should set up something like I don't know, uh, Deviant Art or Art Station. No, right. or what are the kids into these days? I don't even know. I mean, we can, we can probably find it. I post, I post some pictures of it on my Facebook and Instagram. Okay. So I'll follow follow Brian Glynn on Instagram. I'll post that. Right now. I just did. I just actually worked with uh, Evil Knievel's son on their whole on a whole uh, press kit that they put out. Yeah. So you know, as a kid, I owned all the Evil Knievel toys. And it was like, like someone I looked up to. It must be a dream come now true. Now working with his son. Yeah. That's neat. Okay. Um, so I, so you already kind of answered one of the things that we were going to ask is about your, your involvement with playing the game. It looks like you don't really play that much. That's okay. You don't have to. Play. I just press the buttons as fast as I can. Yeah. All right. Maybe I'll show you a trick or two on one of these machines. Too complicated. <laughs> I, was, I grew up on Atari. You got one stick and one button. Yeah, that was the first yeah. system that I had. As you know, my dad had it probably before I was born. That was yeah. that was what I was introduced to. And Pong, the little, the little tennis ball, two two paddles. That's yeah. it. Yeah. One color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it wasn't even a color. It was solid white. Black and white. I had that game too. Yeah. 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 Well, so what about you, John? Do you do you play uh, any of the Mortal Kombat games? No, you know, um, I just when it, when it came out, I, you know, and I did the game. I was already, you know, close to thirty years old, and I just wasn't. And I was a policeman at the time. A police and, officer, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, retired. But um, so I just wasn't into the games at the time because I was older, and then. Uh, you know, I realized how popular the game was, and I started to play a little bit. But by that time, everybody was so good at playing, and I just would get up there and I'd get smoked in about two seconds. You know, so, you know I think it would be really interesting to see you two fight each other in a Mortal Kombat match because both of you seem to have a lack of experience here. That could actually make it a fair fight. <laughs> I could play the rock and sock and roll. Whoever gets the luckiest, whoever gets the luckiest, that's what it's going yeah, to be. be. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, so you played Doc. I played Doc last year. Yeah. How'd that work out? I think I think, I think I might have beat him once, but I think my last Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to play Doc yet and find out how good of a player he is. I'm gonna have to challenge him later. All right. Um, have you ever at least like maybe gone on YouTube and kind of watched how the game unfolds, especially mythology? Yeah. Well, um, have you seen the videos and stuff of like how the final product? Yeah. I mean, there's, I'm shocked that like I remember when I do the conventions, it would open at ten and it would close at like five, and there'd be kids that would stay in the game because they would have the first version come out and they would try to figure everything out in that one day, and there would be kids that would figure it out. They would play it straight. From 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock, yep. and he would walk away and he goes, I know all your fatalities, I know every move. And a kid would sit there and study the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, and, that's, yeah, that's yeah. intense. When, yeah. when you're a fan of something like that, yeah. you can pick up the tricks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played a kid once at one of those conventions, first time I ever played, and I had never played the game. And within like 10 seconds, he beat me. Yeah. And he thought I was letting him beat me. And he goes, Let's play again, this time try. I go, Okay. Played him again. He won in about nine seconds. And he looked at me and he said, You don't know how to play the game, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I told no, I never played it. <laughs> he thought you were going easy on him. Yeah, yeah he thought I was, but I wasn't. We went to last year, we did a, uh, we had, there was a convention in Arizona that a bunch of us Mortal Kombat. Characters went yes, to, the Phoenix one. I saw yeah, that on YouTube. And we went to a, like a, one of these uh, gamers bars after the thing, and um, I think most of the fans there that are playing these games think that we're good at the game. Yeah, because we're yeah. in it. So I, everyone I played, they kicked my ass. So yeah, you know, they, they found out. Quickly that yeah. We didn't know shit about the yeah. Game. Well, I wouldn't necessarily assume that because you have to spend so much time getting into shape and training and exercising and. 
you know, the average fan obviously probably wouldn't be suitable to be in the game, right? The, especially the people who are, who are very good at the tournaments and, and tournament level players who know every fatality, who spend all the time studying it. So you guys don't have to study it. Yeah. You can't expect right. you to be good players. Right. Well, I think like John too. I, I, I think when this game came out, I was 20, you know, 25 years old. Yeah. So, I mean, I was kind of outgrown video games by myself. It's, it's hard to stay into it after a certain age, yeah. Very old. Yeah. You can't believe it's been, what, 20 something years? 26. The last year was 25. can't believe it's been right. Long. It's fun. Though. A lot of good, good moments. I'm glad Doc does this and has everybody get together. It's fun. It's good to see everybody once a year. It is. It is a lot of fun. I'm really, and I'm really glad too that you guys are able to make it out here. And you both had to fly in, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's in Vegas. I'm in San Diego. So it would be cool if you guys were in the same area. You know, share the same flight or something. <laughs> It's sitting yeah. next to you. It wouldn't yeah. fit in the seat size. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Big guys. All right. Yeah, get, so. yeah, take up the whole plane. You put jacks on there and you lose two seats. So when you were into games, um, I know you mentioned you had an Atari, and I know yeah. you mentioned that you sort of outgrown them. So what was your favorite game uh, back when you were still doing it? Um, you know what I used to play a lot when, when I was filming the Mortal Kombat? They had in the cafeteria... They had the driving game. Well, I used to love the driving yeah. game. I, I think it was like Cruising USA. Yeah, Cruising USA was it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was the one I would play all the time. I like that. Yeah, that is, that is really so good. different now, the driving game. I like the shooting games now because I love to shoot. I got a bunch of guns. I own a ton of guns. Okay. And I'm a big, big advocate of you know hunting and shooting and uh, I, I love all the shooting games now. They have a real you know the target practice ones, not where you know you're going in and you're shooting up a school or something. I like the ones where you got like you got a standard with well, the police simulated ones. Oh yeah. Where a cop might come out or like maybe virtual cop. Yeah, yeah, that that one, right? So I like those. Those are really good. We have to really think. It's not just blasting away. Right, because you don't want to harm a uh, civilian, harm innocent, right? so you can't. Can't just shoot the just shoot trigger right away. Yeah, can't have so, that trigger finger. Yeah, those are pretty cool, man. I really like those games. So there's one where you got to shake the handle and shoot. And you shake that oh, like to reload it or something? Yeah, to reload it. Yeah. 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 My big one was like duck hunt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little generation earlier than the ones yeah, you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know. Duck hunt. I remember duck hunt. I used to play the Atari baseball, uh, Tecmo Bowl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The sports game. Yeah. Okay. I remember when Pitfall came out, that was pretty, uh, pretty good, a great career of video games. Yeah, it was. Lion yeah. Adventure. Yeah, I did play it against football, too, for, for, for them. You, you were uh, one of the characters in the football game. Yeah, yeah. So okay. when the guys... Was, it, was it super high impact? Do you remember the fight? Yeah, I think that was it. But okay. um, no, it was Madden Football. Madden, yes. Yeah, it was okay. a Madden Football. Okay, so pro probably not a midway title that night. Uh, I can't remember, because I remember they stuck the dots on me all for that one. And then, uh, yeah, like, oh, the mocap suits. Yeah, yeah. Yes, all yeah. right. And then uh, another one where... I, I was standing there in a, with my shirt off or something where the guy gets hit and all his equipment flies off. Yeah. That, they used me for that one. Oh, oh awesome. So, yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, so they probably oh, gave you free copies of all these games, right? You know what? I, don't have, I, I think the only one I have is Mythology. I don't have a copy. They just gave me my own Sub-Zero doll uh, or figure today. Yes. Hey, hey, this guy right here. Oh, here, you can bring him on. This is, this, is, this is pretty awesome. Look, they can see oh, it's it. funny. Ryan was actually playing with this yeah. one earlier on the camera. Yeah. yeah. They did a great job, man. You know I'm going to go get yours. Yeah. Yeah. It's still there. You see it? Ah, so zero <laughs> wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Job, man. Yeah. Well, I uh, hope you won't be offended, but actually this one is kind of my favorite right here, yeah. Shao Kahn. And I think the helmet comes off too. Yeah. Oh, it does. does it? I don't know if it looks yeah. much like that. It does. That's your hair. <laughs> Back in the day, your hair was like that. Yeah, well, you know, it does It does look like you, but it doesn't really look the way the character is supposed to look when his helmet comes off. I don't know if it stays it's on. It's a skull head, isn't it? Um, oh, even worse. He's got like a demon head and, and it's like full of spikes and stuff. Demon head, huh? Yeah, I guess we're I'm facing. We have Shao Kahn right there. 
Yeah, yeah it's good. <laughs> right by the, right by your likenesses. Right, right, right. Nice. So did they give you one? Yeah, they gave me one. So I got you one. one. I, I got one last year. From yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah, these. The quality on these is really great. I also got another quality. one that. Uh, Shao Kahn sitting in a seat. Have you seen that one? Uh, oh, cool. he's got it. He's in a throne. Was that like done by the same style, or is that more like an action figure that's posable? It's posable. I have uh, seen that. Yeah, you can change his hands, his grips, and stuff like that. Yeah, that that one is awesome. And I think that one has the head that I was talking about, where he's got like a bunch of horns, kind of like a. I don't know how to survive it. He's demonic. I, I can't even think. Some of some kids just had had it today, but I don't remember that. Uh, maybe not that exact figure, but I do. I do have a picture of Shao Kahn. Robin shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> No, I do have a picture of Shao Kahn. And posing trucks. You got a, the posing trucks. Yeah, yeah. they're neat. Posing trucks. <laughs> <laughs> These are what I wore on the Really is. Yeah, Look, this is, this is how he was drawn in the comic book. Oh, no, right, yeah. But in the game, it was like it's my face. So. Yeah, that's right. But, but you know, the helmet kind of covers it up, so in your yeah. imagination. I'll just show a picture of... Yeah, that's Shao Kahn uh, as he's drawn in the comic book, so... That's the handsome version. This is the handsome version? <laughs> <laughs> so modest. <laughs> oh, this is great. So you guys each have one. But they shouldn't just give you this. They should give you a Shang Tsung one. They should give you a Scorpion one. They should give you a, yeah, you a Reptile one. Yeah. yeah. You, are those all up? Every yeah, year you should get another yeah. one. Yeah. Well, if, if they have the same kind of costume design as your character had. <laughs> there are other ones up there. Those would be in a million pieces. Yeah. But, but you know what? Those weren't really you playing those characters yet. That was like the other, the other guy. Dan Vecina in those costumes. If they make an updated the version. The, 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 with, the, with the... I don't know. With they the, had like the, the bigger patterns. Yeah, yeah. The ones with the bigger patterns yeah. on them that, that are definitely based on your costume that you wore. Mm -hmm. You should get some of those. Yeah. Did they do an MK3 Shang Tsung? I don't think they did. I don't think they have your Shang Tsung yet either. Yeah. Uh, I think the scorpion up there is one Sal did. I think that's true. Do they actually sell these? Or what? Yeah, these are actually for sale now. Uh, and I think Gallop and Ghost has them on their Facebook page as well. So, yeah, there's opportunities for fans to get them. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, well, listen, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for having this us. This is a lot of fun talking to you both. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much, Brian yeah. and John. Yeah. 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 Appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. Yeah. Remember, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter. John's a Twitter. Twitter guy. <laughs> yeah, Twitter. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, um... Bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, uh, just don't steal those, right? No, no, I have, <laughs> I have, I have my own. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get some of the guys back. Um, Actually, um... Oh, we're, what's going on? We're gonna. We need to go. So, do we? Hold on one second, guys. Well, all right then. This was a fun stream, though. We had yeah. a lot of. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> Well, folks, we we are going to go and ha have to go ahead and wrap it up today because uh, these these two guys are have to go back have to drive back home, and it's like a two or three hour drive. We haven't even eaten dinner yet. We need to go have dinner as well. But we want to, well, or lunch. But we want to thank you all for joining us for the. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. You were signing <laughs> you, off. You, I mean, yes, you did. Seriously, though. Guys, we want to thank you all for um, joining us on the last for the last 20 years of MK5.org and MK Online. It's been a, um, a incredible journey with all of you, and we really look forward to seeing what the next few years are going to bring. We may even have a little Christmas present for you. So, just to sign off. Uh, well, actually, I don't know how to sign this thing off. We need I think we need Ryan for that. I can, I can handle this. But, I know what to do. Okay. Yeah. Well, Just hit this little button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, seriously. It, it, it has been a great journey. And really you know what? Scott, thank you for bringing us both on board. Yes. Yeah. You know. and, and, um, uh, yes. It, 
like um, as we said before, Mortal Kombat has, has changed our lives, and you um, uh, thank you for bringing uh, bringing us into this journey. No, absolutely. I mean, thank you for twenty years of doing this site. I mean, on, I mean, really mean that. I mean, you guys are awesome. You guys make the site. Um, here's to. 10 20 more? more? 10 more. <laughs> 10 more? <laughs> 10 more? 20 more? How old do you think I am? <laughs> let's, let's keep it at 10 more. <laughs> we'll go, then we'll reevaluate. Uh, let me go. Um, let me. Thanks again, guys. Oh, we will. S wait. No? We're, oh, not, wait. we're not signing off. We're not, not signing yet. off. We're going to have. We, I would yeah, like Ryan to close. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, let's, let's, let's get Ryan to close. And guys, seriously, in. it's only just begun. Hey, do just you have any finding, final words for us? Well, I lost the tournament. I don't know oh. how I got to play the tournament two times after I lost, but uh, <laughs> they threw me in there, I think, just to just to kind of poke a little fun, maybe, at my lack of Johnny's cage ability. But it's okay. <laughs> I took it in good stride. No, everybody that I played against super talented, super awesome. Uh, it was really great to see everybody on here. We got some good interviews for you guys. Uh, this was a lot of fun, and um, I'm about... I just purchased a... UMK3 Sub Zero statue. Oh, wow. Oh, good for you. And good John you. Turk is going to sign it. Nice. So I am going to get that taken care of, and I'll have pictures of that that we can put up if you guys want to see that. And like a really high quality photo. Yeah. So we can do that and um, get that up there for you guys to see. But yeah, we're having a lot of fun. We're all, all going to go out to dinner and uh, continue to hang out for a while. And uh, that's pretty much all I got. It's yeah. it's been an awesome. Hey, and thank you, night. fans, for watching. Yeah. I hope, I hope you had fun. If you, even if you catch the replay, thank you. But uh, yeah. well, this is a lot of fun. We even had a surprise guest of Ed Boon popping on the yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, Ed Boon was pops and so amazing. amazing. Yeah. Hey, where, where where can people find us at? Uh, well, all right, that's a good thing. We should sign off with that. Yeah. Um, of course, the website, www.mortalcombatonline.com. Yep. Uh, do you want to give the Facebook address? Uh, it's just Facebook.com slash Mortal Comment Online. Someone, someone Twitter, try that. And Twitter.com slash MK underscore online. Yeah. Good and stuff. Discord. Yep. Yes, follow the Discord. There you go. And, and Instagram. No, I'm kidding. No, no we don't do an Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Signing off. Later. See you guys.